Hello, welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Uh, picking up right where we left off, and also where we started the last episode. Um, we're going to finish up New Londo, we're going to get the Four Kings soul at this point. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be done with done with New Londo. And then we'll also have all four Lord Souls at that point. We're getting, we're getting close to the end, guys. Won't be the end, though. We still do have New Game Plus ahead of us. Um, New Game Plus is going to be not as thorough, for sure. Um, this first game, I want to focus on, like, you know, all the NPC quests, doing all the summons, getting all the items, all that stuff. And next, uh, New Game Plus, we're going to be a little bit more speedy. We're going to just focus on killing the bosses and finishing the game. As well as we're going to get some multiplayer in, as well, I think. Show off how that works. Um, so yeah, four kings. Uh, let's talk about them for a bit, right? The uh, four kings is, of course, four of them. Uh, sometimes three and sometimes five, though. That's we'll see in a second here. But um, yeah, they uh, they were the kings of the city. Uh, so if we're going back in history, right, when things when things were bright, when things were good, when Nulanda was on the upswing, um, Gwyn was very happy with what he saw. He thought, you know, they were running a good show here. So he actually went ahead and gave some of his soul to the four kings so similar to Seath he's not like an actual the four kings are not an actual lord but they have pieces of Gwyn so we're just uh, consolidating all that so anyway once you uh, take down the water the uh, the fast way to go oh and then right here by the way are some more uh, transient curses in case you need them which I don't I don't think we're gonna fight any more ghosts um, but anyway drop down here right here and that'll take you right here which if you recognize from the last episode uh, when we opened up the seal, we came from over there after dropping down. And so from here, um, you basically just want to... You can go forward and kill the guys ahead, and then circle back, and then go into there. And then you can finish off all the dark rates within maybe like two minutes, and then collect any uh, chunks that you got. Um, we're not going to do that, though, because like I said, we don't really need chunks. Uh, what we do need, though, is to summon someone, which I think their sign is down here. Could be wrong. It's up there. Uh, is... uh, apparently not. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for me to find this. Place your bets in the comments now. Um, maybe this way? Yeah, I feel like I'm so slow. Um, so I think I mentioned I've been playing some Dark Souls 3 lately, and you move so much faster in that game. It's kind of crazy. Uh, right, yeah, I'm like really disoriented here. Um, is it passed up here somewhere? Oh, am I? No. Uh, or was it way back over there? Okay, I'm back. Uh, with the power of the internet, I uh, believe I know where to go now. Um, looking in the wrong spot, of course. <laughs> uh, where do I go? Uh, well, I'm already lost again. Uh, so not... No, 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 yeah, this way, this way. Yeah, we need, to, we need to go into this big room, which I was hesitant to do since there's some ghosts in here, and I'm just like, oh, I need to go to fight ghosts. Let's quickly finish you off. Ha ha, you can come in. So yeah, there's the ghosts, so we're gonna have to be... Oh, careful here. Oh, oh god, no! Yeah, alright, well. <laughs> we're gonna use a transient curse next time. Dang it. <laughs> Can I complete one area without dying? Probably not. Alright, anyway guys, um, I will cut back to down there. For you guys. Wow, I really just used the homeward bone. Dang it. <laughs> I thought that was too bad. Oh god, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut that out yet. We're gonna, you're gonna get to see that. I think I will cut now. All right, I want you all to just forget the last five minutes of this video. Just pretend it never happened. We're only, uh, I don't know exactly how long we're gonna be in <laughs> after editing, but we are not five minutes in. We're only Less than one. Okay, so, uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, definitely recommend using the Homeward Miracle if you're going to farm for chunks. Uh, if you don't have enough faith, though, you're going to have to just buy a bunch of Homeward Bones. 
Um, okay, so there's our souls. Let's go ahead and get those. Get the parry. And then... Oh, no. Okay, no, 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 not again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna run away since the ghosts are slower. Oh, God. Oh god. Alright, depending on how much uh damage I take here. Oh no, you yeah, can't can't parry the kicks and he's gonna parry. you know what? Fine. I just backstab you. Honestly, because once you get good enough at parrying, um parrying is just as cheap as backstabbing. I'd say. So just because I wanna not be running away from them, I'm gonna use one more transient curse and it's so like they they just put just these two ghosts down here. Just to throw you off. Get out of here. Um, should be one more. Yep. You have really good range with this sword, though. That is definitely something I like. Uh -huh. So right here, we're gonna find a chest with another chunk. Which, I'm curious, how many do we have at this point? Probably a few, at least. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah, that'll. I can upgrade a few things with that. So yeah, where we wanna go? I think it is out here. So there's the boss, right? But if we go this way, it's gonna be one more Dark Wraith. Come out, and then over there should be the summon sign. Wait, wait, nope, no item for me, but that's fine. Right here, yes, okay. Didn't see it for a second, got very weird. We can say, uh, which Beatrice again? Yes, uh, if you remember her, she, uh, she helped us with the Moonlight Butterfly back when we were first in Dark Root Garden. She uh, shot the spells for us, so that way we didn't have to wait for the butterfly to land. And uh, if you remember, I mentioned she's like known for being one of the few to traverse the abyss, uh, which is sort of the explanation for why she's able to help us with this fight. Um, oh, yeah, so nearly forgot. Make sure you put on your Covenant of Artorias here. Traverse the abyss, right? Completely useless ring, except for this moment where it is incredibly helpful. So, when you come in here, um, it might seem like a small boss room, but that's because we're not actually in the boss room yet. Uh, if we make our way down, uh, chill, chill, and I'll... She might, she might, be, she might have seen some ghosts <laughs> and is getting scared about that. Um, yeah, if we make our way down, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna do it here. You can actually like plunge off of any of these sort of off points here. And then down we go. And then out. Okay, hit the edge, but we'll be fine. So, you'll just keep falling and die if you don't have the Covenant of Artorias on, but we do. So, that allows us to just walk on the uh, darkness. Anyway, without further ado, we have the four kings. Yeah, so once you see their name, that's when you know they're here. And then you just want to yeah, make your way over to them. Uh, watch out for that. Ow. Big boom. And yeah, they got some. Oh, boy. Yeah, when he does a little spin like that, they're going to try to grab you. So I don't know where Beatrice is. I think she might have... God, I hate those. Because they just keep going, and they pretty much will hit you. <laughs> it's definitely possible to dodge, but again, it's just a case of any time I've done it. So yeah, you want to stay close to them because their blades, um, if you get hit by the handle part, it actually does less damage than if you get hit by the real business end. Yeah, so cool thing about this boss is that it's uh, kind of like Ornstein and Smoke where you have multiple enemies. So we killed one of the four kings, now we gotta kill the other three. And yeah, Beatrice is nowhere to be seen, so all we've done is make the boss harder. <laughs> yeah. And you're kind of on the clock because more of these things will show up if you take too long. But thankfully... Bonus damage against the abyss can help us out here. So I think we're gonna get we're gonna get four actual kings here, but it is possible that if you do enough damage, you can actually kill them. Oh, he got me. So just like the dark rates, this will actually suck humanity out of you if you have any on you. So let's do some damage. Did that even restore health? It might have. I really like the music for this fight, by the way. Very like high intensity, dramatic music. Swinging because why not? Yep. Ow. Yeah, this boss can be a lot worse if you're a magic guy. They have good 
magic resistance. There we are. Still got two Estus left. Only a few more hits to go here. And there's our last one. Ow! Hold on. Should I hold on? Be like a strike from Bolo might be a good comparison. Uh, one more should do it. Yeah. We got our bequeathed Lord Soul. Just like Swith, Swith, uh, Seath's is called that as well, I think. Four humanity, one for each king. And uh, yeah, that is the four kings. Uh, so Beatrice gets the award. That was probably the most useless NPC summon we've ever had. So this one's for her. <laughs> She's getting distracted by the ghosts up there. Either way, with that, and I do want to just see again if the... Uh, we got, yeah, two bequeathed lords. Uh, one of Seath and one of the four kings. Bequeathed because Gwen, of course, bequeathed them onto them. Something like that. So yeah, we got another bonfire, which we can warp out of here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to... Um, Prylink Shrine. First one there. Uh, so yeah, we still got a decent amount of time. Let's, uh, let's use the rest of this episode to explore the Valley of the Drakes. Um, let's see. So, uh, oh yeah, I got the souls, that's what I got. Hm. One of those, and then we'll burn some items to uh, use the rest of these souls here, because I do not like walking around with that many. So we need something like four or five thousand souls. Let's try probably too much. Use one of these, maybe? Three thousand. Uh, I don't think that's enough. I wonder how much time has been just me doing this, trying to <laughs> use just enough souls. Uh, we'll use two just to be thorough here. That, that should be it. Just enough. All right, so cool. Let's go back down there. Um, actually, there's not. Actually, yeah. So we still got to go down. Let's go to the Valley of the Drakes through the, sort of like the Blight Town shortcut area, which is going to be at the entrance of New Londo here. And there are a few cool items to grab. Um, I specifically did want to wait until after we killed the four kings because um, one of the items is actually going to be uh, Beatrice's set and all of her stuff. And that that only shows up after we uh, kill the four kings. And I think we have to summon Beatrice for the fight. Um, not totally sure, but we did, so we should be good. I'm, I'm very sure that summoning it won't cause it to not show up, so we're, we're, we're in the good. We're there, guys. <laughs> um, oh, and we don't need this ever again, so let's go back to our handy dandy wolf ring. And continue on. So, uh, oh, straight ahead, yeah, that's gonna be the uh, feature stuff, I think. I forget if we killed the poison dragon around here. I think we did. Oh, no, we woke it up. So, yeah, get all the witch stuff, as well as Beatrice's catalyst, and I am going to just take a look at some of this stuff here. Uh, let's look at her hat. That's kind of a cool hat. Um, there it is. So, almost all magic users that employ a wand study at Dragon School, but Beatrice is one of the few exceptions. She braved the abyss, but did not live to tell of her ordeal. So it looks like she didn't actually survive <laughs> her uh, time with the abyss. Very unfortunate for her. But uh, the cool thing is, you know, she didn't learn magic from uh, Vinheim like all the other magic people do so maybe she learned it in the abyss maybe she learned it from the yacht logan who knows i don't think it'll ever actually say but all we know is that she didn't get it from anyway so let's uh see how well we can do this thing there. and it's gonna be a very annoying fight since uh, yeah i don't know if this is toxic or if it's did that not even hit Oh, well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, that's, that's scary. It, it moves me without actually doing damage. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see how much this does. Ooh, yeah, we can just burn it. Like that. Okay, you're 
Centaurs and ain't doing much to us. Uh, Alright, well, that, that did a number on him at least. Should be able to just get one big smack in here. Yeah. I never actually kill this guy too often, so it's pretty fun. Get dragon skill for our efforts. Yeah, well, it's a lot of particles. Um, oh, yeah, so over there. Uh, get a view of where we want to go. Um, got a bit of a hike. But that is the view of the. Uh, what's it called? The gate that we opened in New Mondo. So this is kind of a sketchy part since there's such a small cliff. Um, Let's go ahead and fight these drakes. That lightning of all things. Uh, yeah, these things ain't too bad. Now, fight, let's see fighting. So yeah, these are drakes. They're technically not actual dragons. They're uh, considered like offshoots, kind of missing links or lesser dragons kind of thing, um, which is why they're able to shoot lightning, because lightning is a real dragon's weakness. Uh, yeah, drakes are kind of like in this... Ah! The front of that one. Okay, one more should do it. Two more should do it. Oh yeah, so they can... Oh, bye. See him off. <laughs> I wish there was a salute. Um, it's called the gesture. Yeah, that would be. I feel like that'd be a very trolly one. Uh, all right, let's try to get this one's attention. Draw it back. Don't exactly want to fight him on the bridge here. Mostly because I don't want to get the attention of those other three down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's funny. It hit the stairs and it shot upwards there. Oh no. I gotta be a little more careful here. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Stop it. Come here. Okay, double one, two. Get a little bit of stamina back. Burning a lot of Estus here, but uh, once we finish off those three, we'll be good. So yeah, let's let's be real careful here. Let's see if we can get one of their attention. Real careful. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Maybe we'll fight this one on the bridge. Just come a little bit closer, my friend. No, 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 no. Come here. Come on. Be scared. Oh, we done it now. All right, you know what? Uh, let's just... <laughs> These guys aren't too fun to fight. Uh, we want to make our way here. This letter. Ah. So everything <laughs> falls apart around us. Um, so yeah, if we... Uh, I think we can survive this fall. So we're going we're gonna to take them all out of the plunging attack. Let's run here. But up here is one of the uh, most interesting items. The uh, red tear stone ring. Which I think I talked about this a few episodes back, but... It's like the blue tier stone ring. Uh, once your health is down to like the bottom 20%, I think you get a big attack bonus. Um, whereas the blue tier stone ring gave you a, uh, a defensive bonus. So this comes from Karim, which is interesting because uh, that's where what's his name, uh, Latrek, gold armored guy that killed our firekeeper, came from. And then the blue tier stone ring comes from uh, Katarina, which is where our good old buddy. Uh, Siegmeyer comes from. So, uh, well, they all dispersed again. So, oh, and I forgot to get that item on the bridge. So, we definitely have to make our way down. So, let's uh, go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, boy. Nearly killed us. No! Uh, <laughs> well, I tried. Didn't even get the kill <laughs> with the plunging attack. Probably should have just worked my way down. But I'm sure I would have been bum rushed with lightning if I did that. So anyway, I'll cut, meet you guys back down there. We've got a few more things to do. All right. Two with this guy. Yeah, these guys, they're, they're pretty simple. It's just that it's annoying that we have to fight three of them at once. 
uh, with those ones over there. The other ones are definitely a lot more manageable. So yeah, our goal at this point is just that item on the bridge I forgot to pick up. Oh yeah, that's I had a lot of trouble dodging that attack. For some reason. Nope, nope. And there he goes. Okay, one more. May as well top our health off. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on now. Oh, oh, and... Oh, no, okay, I thought he jumped off too. Oh, uh, uh, Did not stick the landing. Uh, ooh, my souls are up there. I think I had a decent... And you know what? Sometimes the souls just ain't worth it. Uh, so anyway, here's the bring-in set and another spider shield, which, uh... That's one of the starting classes, of course, so we actually did find a spider shield already um, back in the depths, and it's kind of interesting that possible to uh, get your hands on three spider shields in one playthrough if you, uh, yes, yeah, so right here's where we want to go. Um, if you start as a bring-in, you can get one, then you get the one on the depths, and then you can get that one right there. And then right, you have three spider shields, which serves you no purpose, but if you're collecting them, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things that I always think about for some reason anytime I get the spider shield. It's just like, I'm going to have three of these if I want. Um, anyway. I went up here because I just want to show you. Uh, there is a bonfire right here, which I don't know if we... We might have come down here and I showed you the bonfire, but then I didn't rest at it since I didn't want to respawn the enemies. But uh, yeah, that connects to the Valley of the Drakes, and so that kind of brings us full circle. Um, just to quickly show you exactly where. Um, it's right by that Black Knight Halberd and the Grass Crest Shield, which was right over there. And then uh, this takes us to... Dark Basin, of course. Then we can go fight the Hydra if I didn't already kill it. But um, yeah, at this point, we uh, we don't have too much more to do. <laughs> um, I think I've shown you most of the game at this point. Uh, we do have one more area to go to, a secret area. But uh, we'll get more into that next time. Uh, let's finish up the episode right here. Um, right here, I guess this is a cool view. Um, just a lot of rocks, really. That looks kind of cool. Anyway, okay, let's uh, let's wrap it up, guys. Uh, I had fun making it. I hope you had fun watching. Okay, I think that's yeah, a decent outro, right? Kind of my catchphrase. Said it at least half the videos at this point. <laughs> um, but either way, I do mean it. It's a lot of fun having a lot of fun making this, even if I don't get many views in the end. It's uh, I've always daydreamed when I play video games about commenting and being a YouTuber. So definitely very enjoyable. Um, either way. Thank you for coming along with the ride, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.